We have a request to use the courthouse lawn and gazebo on Saturday, September the 29th at 4.30 in the afternoon for a wedding. Um, 80 people, no chairs. They'll ask the city for electricity. Um, her, Amy's note was, I spoke with Denny on this and he has no problem with this wedding. I also spoke with Chris Lilly about the farmer's market and he said it would be no problem either. So we need to make a decision whether to accept this uh, person's request to have a wedding on the courthouse lawn and gazebo on Saturday, September 29th at 4.30 p.m. Any questions? Jenny, any permits or anything for us? Um, no permits, but I did want to tell you from the last time we spoke, um, I did get in touch with all the incorporated areas after the main shelter, and um, the breakdown is Columbia City was donating 25000 annually to um, the Humane Shelter. The town of Larval was 485 and the city of Busco appropriated 3500 last year. Um, South Whitley didn't know of any money they had given in the last couple of years, but with the changeover of the new clerk, I'm not sure of that figure. So that's, you're looking at some big differences there um, to the number. And I know that she spoke to the council last week in that issue. Um, I had on my list about the 6000 for the Wheeler property that um, Attorney Ziegler already talked about and that we aren't in any trouble with that. And the county auction was um, June 9th and we made 13400 and some dollars from the cars that were sold. Wow. Um, and the only other question I had was um, the July 1st date is around the corner and does anyone know if the radios got updated at the Holly Inn? Garage with the seat up money. I haven't seen any bills. What did you say? The highway radio. No. What did you say? July about July first. Isn't that the deadline for the new banding? No, it was back last February. Oh. Did they February. get updated? Cause I Can't didn't tell see anything. Can't tell you. What? 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 Well, technically, technically the the deadline is. I think way down the road yet. The local deadline was from from the head of the dispatchers, Kathy Shively, a year ago was we're going narrow banding February first, two thousand twelve. So you need to be online, and, and I I can't tell you if that's been an issue or not. I've never heard. So it it, just, it is something to asking what's what's the status of the narrow banding. I mean, I don't disagree. And I think it was that money right. was only set aside for 2012. So. Right, and that I'm working on the seat budget <clears throat> okay. with what you had in there and what's okay. been out. So I guess okay. that's why it came up. Okay. Yep. Okay. That's all. But I zero, as far as I know, so far. Okay, Mr. Rethley. Help me out on this 911. Is it, the money we get back will that be more or less? Than I really think that's for Mr. Jones to, to tell us. I that is that the three hundred and some thousand dollar number? Three sixty five. Yeah, I to me that seems like what we've always been getting myself. And it's an average of the last three years. We had to report all nine one one wireless no and nine one one landline. No wonder it sounded familiar yeah. then. Because <laughs> I thought we usually got about three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, so Okay, that's all you, I did, did that come from my ACC the other day? That's where I... No, it was in my packet. In the packet. Oh, well, they handed those out. They handed those out of the ACC the other night. So, uh, yeah. That's all I have. Okay, sir. So, so I guess I've got a question on that, too, that if they're just averaging that, then if, if we had more 
money coming, it doesn't matter. The state just is going to dole it out as an average. It sounds to me like we will get another formula. Isn't that what you think? We will get at least that amount of money in the next three years. We will get no less than that amount of money somehow, no matter how they collect it. Mm -hmm. But we will get all of the money that is allocated to our county. Hopefully, as much of that, if not more. Okay, currently, you may not answer this, I don't know. When we get our phone bill, we got a fee on it. Okay? Rent your phone bill. Currently, where does that fee go? To, is it CenturyLink, Verizon, who's your provider? Frontier. Frontier sends in a monthly bill to Whitley County on the your money it collects from you, 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 and me. That they know those are Whitley County addresses and it comes directly back to Whitley County. Now it's going into yes. one big pot that says, I know there's four people in Whitley County that have a landline still and we're taking you know, figures a dollar. I'm sorry. I fifty cents something. Yeah, about about we above. know they have so many X amount of landlines and that's what we're giving back to Whitley County. At the state level, after they take out their twenty two percent. So if it's a dollar, we're only getting eighty cents instead of the Well, I think my dollars. I think my question is, so is Frontier going to start sending that money to the state and yes. no longer to the county? Yes, sir. And where does that take place? July first? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. It's all bad. It's all bad. And my I, disagreement anytime. is they have an administrative fee on top of that now. Well, there there wasn't a lot of uh, uh, I, mean, I, I, I truly admit I have not spent a lot of time on that on that new law, but there wasn't a lot of love for it at IACC the other night, that's for sure. So Was John Ritter there? No. Uh -uh. Um, when I listened yeah. to him speak the night that Tom and I went to Fort Wayne, mm -hmm. and it scared me in his meeting that he hired six new staff Woo. to help with this program at the hey. state level. So right there tells you what were we doing wrong at the county level. I mean, all we had to do was combine the phones. That's all they did. From landlines and wireless, we could have put it in one big thing, renamed it, and kept the check coming in at the county sure. level. And the not right thing to do. Taking out the. Yeah. Okay. Give me any else, George? Sure. Not a thing. Okay. I just have a couple things. Um, remember in our in our discussion, well, I, I, in our discussion, we talked about uh, asking passages to come to the meeting. I. Um, did, did he meet individually with you guys? He, he did with me. Who? Tom O'Neill. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, essentially, uh, the only thing I got. My question was, we're paying you thirty-five thousand dollars a year. What do we? What do we get for the thirty-five thousand? The response was, you pay for transportation. So, exactly. my question was, we have transportation. We have Willie County transportation, so I, I don't know much more than I did. The other thing that he, the biggest reason he wanted to meet, and you should have got an invitation to this Thursday. They they're going to have a they're going to have a fundraising for the to remodel the Limburg building in there. They just wanted to invite us all for that. So um, I did have, as a matter of fact, after our last meeting, I, I had a phone message here and. Um, I've had now a total of three complaints on our dust control way we're doing it. They're complaining that, um, well, the, the, the two, the first two complaints that I drove straight out there on my way home and, and they complained they didn't get their 100 foot, is that what it was, 100? Yeah, they didn't get their 100 foot. They were happy with where it was at because it was put west of their homes on this gravel road with predominant west wind. They were happy with where it's at, but they didn't feel like they got their hundred foot. Um, I measured it. One got 142, and the other got 125. So I said, "There's the, there's the numbers. I'm sorry. That's I guess I guess a hundred foot just seems like longer than what in reality it is." The other one, then the other complaint I got then was was um, kind of when I get annually from Chapine Road. Chapine Road is is pretty much it isn't even a gravel road. It's pretty much a mud road, a dirt road. It 
that we've not dealt with very much in all my years of being around here. And I don't mean just my years as a commissioner forever. So uh, their complaint was, why didn't you put the dust control in front of the house where it belongs? Why did you put it? Yeah, so I, you, just don't, you don't know how to win on that one. So that's all I, that's all I had, yes. But all, all due fairness to that, if you remember this calcium chloride, which is put down, and we put 100 yards in front of their house. Our feet. This, this year we went 50-50 at each end, supposedly. This that's been done last year, moisture or water or rain is supposed to bring that up. Yep. Now, I don't know if you live in Whitley County, but out of that, Florida, we haven't had a whole lot of rain. And boy, was that embarrassing on, on my Champagne Road lady, because how do you explain to them, it'll reactivate when we get rain. Well, we haven't well, had any rain. <laughs> you know, in due fairness to the county, they didn't know that when we said, yeah, no. go ahead and extend it. Yeah. If we'd have known yep. now, yeah. or then, what we know now, we'd probably, well, maybe it ought to run over it this year again in front of the house. I, I don't, I don't disagree. Well, I, I guess I, with as many homes, that's not, I had one, so that's you had four. One. So. Okay. Do you have any? Four we're going to have much gravel road up here. Well, you didn't do it in anything. Okay. I forgot about okay. this, and I wanted you to read this because it seems like it could be a concern. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, this is an email from Crystal Masterson at beersmallers.com. Good morning. Could you please tell me when the commissioners are meeting in June and July? Mr. Mallers would like to speak with them regarding the approval of the sale of property owned by Parkview Whitley. There is an agreement going back many years when Parkview acquired Whitley Memorial, wherein if there was a sale of real estate, it has to be approved by the county commissioners. Thank you. I gave you the list of meetings, but I didn't know. Okay. Is that the Lundberg building? No. Well, I think they're probably talking about the hospital. And, oh. and, and I was under the exact same assumption. I, I said all along, if they're leaving, they got to give that property back to the county. And then I believe we found a document from after 1996 or 97 is when the original document was signed. And I believe there was a document after that that gave the rights to, to Parkview with it. So to do with what they wanted. So they can come and look it up. I don't know. Okay. Does anybody have anything else? Stanley? Well, I just have a question. I've, uh, I had a person 